Hi, Cat's Cradle here. ABC News is reporting this morning that there may be a link between the Lone Star tick bite, the saliva of that tick, and a allergic response that is being r triggered in many people who have been bitten by this tick and they are suspecting there may be a connection between this tick bite and allergic reaction to meat. I'll post the link below so that you can read more about it but it was at ABC News and they're saying uh, there may be a new weapon in the war on meat a tiny tick whose bite might be spreading meat allergies up the East Coast it seems like most of the reports are coming from Virginia in fact the University of Virginia researchers say that the saliva that sneaks into the tiny wound may trigger an allergic reaction to meat uh, agonizing enough to convert lifelong carnivores into wary vegetarians. They're not sure of the link yet and it's going to be very hard to prove because unlike most food allergies this allergic reaction can take three to six hours to develop and it can come in the form of hives even anaphylactic uh, reactions. Um, the bite triggers the release of histamine and it's it seems to be causing a severe reaction. Uh, the blood vessels, uh, the blood levels of the antibodies for this alpha gal or alpha gal, which is uh, sugar found in red meat, uh, lamb, pork, they rise after a single bite from this Lone Star tick. And this Cummins, Dr. Cummins, who's reporting on this, says he hopes experiments uh, where they combine the tick saliva with invisible antibodies will prove that the two are directly connected. Anyway, seems to be kind of a serious thing here. Uh, I have went online to find you some pictures to show you what this little tick looks like. Uh, it does have one star looking feature, one little white dot on the back of its on its back. Here's three on the head of a quarter. You can see in the bottom left corner there's a little baby one but the two others are up above. I'm just uh, scrolling for information and reading as many articles on it as I can. Uh, here's three in the palm of someone's hand. This is probably the best picture I could find right here. Actually the side profile when you look at them they're very thin. Uh, but six legs and the star on the back. Here's one uh, that's in someone's hand, very small. I even have a better picture that gives you uh, an idea about the size. Uh, you can just scroll through and look through the pictures. Just, just Google Lone Star Tick. There's one on someone's fingernail. Very small. So for those of you who are planning on bugging out, it may be more bugging out than you think. Uh, be sure to take your deet when you, when you head to the woods, folks. Anyway, check it out, Lone Star Tick and the relationship to uh, sudden developed meat allergies, Cat's Cradle.